after a long period of time, the world was forced to endure America under Bush. So the world was happy when Barack Obama became the president of the United States. So much so that the dude actually got a peace prize, a Nobel Peace Prize, before he had actually done anything. I mean, hopes were high, I won't lie. And was I one of those people that had high hopes? Well, not Nobel Peace Prize high, but yes, I did have high hopes for Obama too. And I won't pretend that all he did was bad, because there have been good things he has done. However, it's just a man, he's not perfect, he made some whopper of mistakes. And maybe I shouldn't blame him for that, maybe it's normal, but yes, he did. I mean, if you look at how he perpetuates certain narratives that are too stupid for words, I mean, Barack Obama actually once said that uh, women in the White House don't get paid as much as men in the White House. He is a lawyer. I mean, his degree is in law. He knows about the Equal Pay Act. He knows that either he is lying or he's a criminal. Um, but people didn't pick up on that, funny enough. So yes, I am going to make a movie about that one day in the future. But today I'm going to focus on Black Lives Matter. Because apparently Obama had something to say about that as well. And this is going to be interesting. So I hope you will enjoy this and I hope you will listen to what I have to say and what he has to say. And by all means feel free to criticize anything put out there. Whether it's from him or from me. I mean it's not true because I say so. It's not true because he says so. There are facts in the world, and we have to address those as well. Anyway, I'm going to get started, and uh, I already invited you to let me know what you think, but I will do so at the end as well. I know me. Here we go. I, I, I want to drive, down, uh, drive home one point, and that is uh, the relationship between race and the criminal justice system, um, because this is where sometimes politics intrudes. Um, You know, Black Lives Matter is, is a, a, a social media movement that is, had tried to gel around Ferguson and the Eric Gardner case and some other cases that came up. Okay, so he recognizes that Black Lives Matter is a reactionary movement based on some people being killed by law enforcement. Does he also recognize that Black Lives Movement, therefore, is not a reactionary movement to the thousands of black men being killed by black men? Because this, unfortunately, is the situation. More black people die by the hands of black people than by the hands of law enforcement. Um, to a factor of 40, I have been told. And very rapidly it was posited as being a, in opposition to the police. But it was very fast that Black Lives Matter turned against the police, wasn't it? I mean, it's not that people saw it as such, they actually denounced the police. And sometimes, like any of these loose organizations, some people pop off and say dumb things. But the and and on the other hand, though, it started being lifted up as these folks are opposed to police and they're opposed to cops and all lives matter. You know, so the notion was somehow saying black lives matter was reverse racism or suggesting that other people's lives didn't matter. Or police officers lives didn't matter. And, and well, that's a kicker, though. I mean. Yes, there was a hashtag All Lives Matter, and yes, it did get started as an answer to Black Lives Matter. Why? Because for every black person killed by law enforcement, there are two people killed by law enforcement that are not black. Most of them, uh, 1.8 I think, is white. So white people get killed more by law enforcement than black people. So why do we have a Black Lives Matter movement, but not a White Lives Matter movement? 
And I understand why we don't have a white life matter movement, don't get me wrong, I'm not advocating for one. But this is what all life matters spoke about. Whenever we get bogged down in that kind of discussion, uh, we know where that goes. I mean, that, 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 that's just down the old track. But we are getting bogged down in this discussion because Black Lives Matter feel that they are the only victims in this situation and there is nothing they can do to change their situation. White people have to help them change the laws and the police forces because Black Lives Matter. And here you are defending them, Mr. Obama. This is weird, don't you agree? So, so, so let me just suggest this. I, I, I think everybody understands all lives matter. Everybody wants strong, effective law enforcement. Everybody wants their kids to be safe when they're walking to school. Uh, nobody wants to see police officers who are doing their job fairly hurt. Everybody understands it's a dangerous job. You see, Obama, this is what I don't understand. You are defending the movement called Black Lives Matter, and you are telling us how everyone thinks that blah, 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 when the whole movement is based on how they don't think that. They feel that white lives, or basically any life that isn't black, doesn't matter. And I'm going to go one further, because they don't even care about all black lives either. Because if you are a black person and you get killed by another black person who is just a thug or a criminal or whatnot, black lives matter does not care. So, yes, most sane people will feel that all lives matter. But you're defending an organization, a group, an ideology that does not feel this way. When I, I think the reason that the organizers used the phrase Black Lives Matters was not because they said they were suggesting nobody else's lives matter. Rather, what they were suggesting was there is a specific problem that is happening in the African American community that's not happening in other communities. On this, I 100% agree with you, Barack Hussein Obama. You are right. There is a very particular problem in the black community. Now, if we look at black people being killed by cops, and again, I've said this many times before, I'll repeat it here, one is too many, but if we look at those numbers, white people get killed more by the police than black people do. However, the main cause of black teenagers' death in America is homicide. Roughly 15, almost 16 times as much as for white folks of the same age in America. So, why is Black Lives Matter not mentioning any of that? Why are they busy about the two, three hundred deaths by police caused to black people? But they're not talking about the thousands of black people being killed by black people. And why are you supporting this? Seriously, are you daft? And no, I'm not making up these numbers. I mean, you can find them quite simply on the CDC. I mean, I will have a link posted somewhere. I always do. Uh, but yeah, come on, people. It is out there. This information is there. Why are you supporting an organization that worries about the handful of people that get killed by the cops, which is an issue, do not get me wrong, but then ignore the fact that a large number of youth get killed in America by the hands of black people. Is this not an issue because it's mostly black youths that get killed by black people? Is, is this what you're telling me? Well, it's a problem, but hey, it's black people doing it, so fuck it. Because if this is what you're telling me, you are a fucking racist. 
I'm sorry for my language. It's not very presidential to call a daft idiot an idiot. And I know you know better. I mean, you're a law professor. Well, no, you're not a law professor, but you've got a law degree. So you're not an idiot. So why are you lying to us like this? And that is a legitimate issue that we've got to address. You know, uh, I forget which French writer said, you know, there, there was a law that was passed that, was, that, that uh, really was equal because uh, both rich and poor uh, were forbidden from stealing loaves of bread and sleeping under the bridge. Well, so, so here, here's, uh, that, that's not a good definition of equality. The situation, there is a specific concern as to whether African Americans are sometimes not treated in particular jurisdictions fairly or subject to excessive force more frequently. Yeah, the question why you are a liar is also not answered. And you're right, it's not a good definition of equality. But if your law enforcers are not obeying the law that they have to obey, then you are the president. Do something. But you're not doing something. You're just saying, well, Black Lives Matter. No, yeah, good movement. Yeah, yeah. You are not addressing the fact that the black youth are disproportionately victim of homicide. I mean, it's not just in percentages. In raw numbers, they get killed more than any other social group. And they get killed more by their own peers. Why are you not addressing that? Why are you addressing the perceived violence by law enforcement, which is an issue, done, clear enough, but you're not addressing the real elephant in the room. I know white on white crime is also so terrible. Yes, it is. That's why we have law enforcement. But why do we pull back our law enforcers when it happens to be black on black crime? I mean, why do we have Black Lives Matter shouting how what do we want dead cops when they're not shouting out what do we want safe streets? And you're not addressing it. You're actually telling them that they have a right to have a platform. This is incitement. Incitement is, and you're a law degree holding dude, you actually gave lectures. You should know this. Incitement is against the law. Yet you're protecting Black Lives Matter? The movement Black Lives Matter is a hate movement. It lies to the very people it pretends to protect. All lives matters mean that everyone's life matters. Not just because of police brutality, but also because of black-on-black -black crime, or white-on-white -white crime, or black-on-white crime. Or, and I know it doesn't happen as much, white on black crime, which is the main issue, apparently. It's crime. The problem is crime. Done. But Black Lives Matter try to make you believe that law enforcement have it out for black people. The only people that have it out for black people are other black people. Address the elephant in the room, please. Uh, I think it's important for those who are concerned about that to back it up with data, not anecdote, to not paint with a broad brush, to understand the overwhelming majority of law enforcement is doing the right thing and wants to do the right thing, to recognize that uh, police officers have a really tough job and we're sending them into really tough neighborhoods that sometimes are really dangerous and they've got to make split-second decisions. And so we shouldn't be too sanctimonious about uh, you know, uh, situations that sometimes can be ambiguous. But having said all that... You know, I always teach my kids at work that when you answer a question with a long story and then end that long story with, but... What follows the but usually contradicts everything you said before that but. 
Let's see if you are proof. We as a society, particularly given our history, have to take this seriously. And one of the ways of avoiding the politics of this and losing the moment is everybody just stepping back for a second and, and understanding uh, that uh, you know, the African American community is not just making this up. So you want to stop people using anecdotal evidence and your claim is that the African American community isn't just making this up when the raw numbers clearly suggest that all Black Lives Matter has is anecdotal evidence and they're making up the numbers. And I mean, I'm not the head of the United States. So I don't decide whether CDC is doing their job right or not. I do not decide whether the FBI is doing their job right or not. But these organizations clearly point out that Black Lives Matter is full of shit. Maybe we should call them that, full of shit. Eh. I mean, then people won't mistake BLM for Blue Lives Matter, right? I mean, either you support BLM or FOS. <laughs> Maybe that's a good idea. I, I might think about creating that hashtag or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm sorry, Barack Hussein Obama, but you are FOS. You cannot say that they are not making up the data when they are proven to be wrong by the very data your government provides. Now, either you're telling us that your government is lying to us, or BLM is lying to us. And considering that I call them, quite correctly, black lies matter, I'm going to suggest that they are the ones lying. So why are you protecting them? Why are you pretending that they are talking the truth? I mean, you cannot be re-elected, so that can't be the reason. What's the reason for you lying to us, Mr. President? And they're, it's not just something being politicized. It, it, it's real. And, and there's a history behind it. And we have to take it seriously. Um, and it's incumbent then on the activists to also take seriously uh, the tough job that police have. Uh, and that's one of the things that the Ferguson, post-Ferguson task force did. Uh, we had activists from, you know, who were marching in Ferguson with police chiefs and law enforcement sitting down and figuring this stuff out and, and, and just assuming good faith in other people going to the issue of people being cynical, I think is important. I, 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 I've rarely gotten much accomplished assuming the worst in other people. Uh, usually it, it works better if I assume the best. So I just wanted to make that point. All right. I'm sorry, Barack Obama, you're defending the indefensible. Even in Ferguson, you had black people trying to protect shops and people because of black rioters and black looters that were supporting the Black Lives Matter narrative. Who got hurt the most about the riots in Ferguson? You think the police got hurt the most by those riots? You think white people who do not predominantly live in those areas got hurt most? The people that got hurt most in those areas were black people. But those black people don't count to black lies matter. And you're here defending black lies matter. I'm sorry, Barack Hussein Obama. And no, I'm not saying your name is Hussein because I think you're a Muslim. It's your name. I don't care. But you are wrong. You are lying. You are peddling a narrative. And I can't help but wonder why are you peddling that narrative? Because you must know that most black people in America also have a problem with black lies matter. And I mean, I see you do this with feminism too. You keep peddling lies, things that cannot be true. Because if they are true, you should be arrested for not doing your job. Again, either the CDC and the FBI and, and all those official agencies are lying or you're not doing your job right and you're lying right now. I mean, 
it's either that you're not doing your job right, right or you're lying. It, it can't both be true. You cannot be this God better fearing man that's going to stand up against the injustice that black people have to face. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that, that there aren't any. Or you're lying. You're trying to push a narrative that black people have it so much worse in America than anyone else. Ask Bernie Sanders how he felt when Black Lives Matter came to stop him. Either give us a right to speak or we will shut this down. Not my words, their words. Seriously. I'm sorry, people, I am getting a little bit upset and I have to do another one. I don't have to do another one. I will do another one. Anyway, your criticism, as usual, is more than welcome. And yes, I'm sorry, you can hear my little one on the background screaming and shouting because, well, real life continues. Um, please let me know what you think. Your criticism is more than welcome. And I'm looking forward to your replies.